Activists for accessible transportation gathered outside of the MTA headquarters in Manhattan today demanding accessible rights to public transportation for all. News 12's Brittany Cadet was there and she has this story. If we can find money for, you know, luxury condos and art in the train stations, we can find some money to improve paratransit. As we know, the Big Apple is one of the most visited places in the world, but lacks inclusive accessibility for everyone. They they're only mentioning wheelchair accessibility. There are folks like you saw today who are deaf and blind, who have cognitive disabilities. An elevator might not help them. They need more than that. According to the U.S. Census Bureau, in 2017, there were about 930,000 people with disabilities living in New York City, representing 11% of the city's population. And as of September 21st, only 28% of the city's subway station were accessible, which is the lowest percentage out of all the major transit systems in the world. However, the city ranks the highest in wheelchair-friendly taxis. Tell me about your experience now traveling around. Mark Safman, who was declared legally blind deaf in 2017, tells us he relies on public transportation. Traveling around now is, um, well, my, my vision is very, very blurry, and I absolutely don't hear the subway announcements. He tells us the MTA has been promising accessibility for too long, and he wants to see more action. Uh, the MTA and too many politicians seem to think that uh, if you are disabled, you just want to go to a doctor or you know, they don't seem to realize that uh, people who are deaf blind like myself, uh, they don't want to take the time to understand that we have specific disabilities or specific challenges. They're not disabilities, they're challenges that can be easily overcome with technology. We reached out to the MTA for a statement and they tell us earlier this month, our team partnered with the Transit Museum for a panel highlighting a range of projects to enhance accessibility across our system from wayfinding apps for blind or low vision customers to digital screen enhancements. We are also happy to share that we are launching an updated ADA training for employees from all MTA agencies. In Manhattan, Brittany Cadet, News 12. Brittany, thank you.